Okay, so here is my process to use Metal Skybox with Element 3D. Um, first of all, I go to File, Script, and I'm gonna use the script Skybox Creator. Okay, the scripts allow me to create a new Skybox Master from scratch or create Skybox from current composition. Uh, for the first example, I'm gonna create a new Skybox from scratch and after I'm gonna to, to show you how to create Skybox from current composition. So, create a new Skybox Master size. Uh, this size is just too big uh, for Element 3D. Element 3D prefer smaller size so I'm gonna choose 2048 by 2048 frame rate it's okay uh, you can change it if you want and duration I'm gonna choose 10 seconds it's enough okay so I can I can create a skybox master but as you can see, I leave checked I'm using 3D plugins because I'm gonna use 3D plugins like uh, Trapcode Particular or other one. If you plan to use uh, 3D inside After Effects like 3D Solid or uh, other 3D, uncheck this checkbox. Okay, so create a new Skybox Master. As you can see, I have a new composition, an empty composition with Skybox Master camera inside. It's a square composition, 2048 by 2048, 10 seconds, okay. So now I'm gonna create uh, something simple with uh, particular. So I uh, first, I will make a background, a dark red background, okay. And I'm gonna create a new solid, this will be my particular. I had particular. As I say, I'm gonna make something simple. So go to emitter. I'm gonna change it in box. Uh, go to emission extra just to have a pre run 100 so I can see particle from the beginning. And uh, I'm gonna change the direction. Directional. As you can see, uh, by default, the Skybox Master camera is a little bit zoom. So if you want to see uh, better what you are doing, you maybe can change the Z position temporarily. Okay, maybe oops, like that. Just I can see better what I do. And after, before uh, generate my Skybox out output, I will put it back to zero. Okay, so now I'm gonna change the direction. Okay, I'm gonna change minus 90. And also change the position. Okay. And, and I go to word tra transform because I just want to rotate like that. Okay. So I now I have particle that emit from, from here in this direction. I'm just uh, gonna change my uh, particle types here. Particle type, sphere, I change in cloudlet. And I also change the particle per second, 100 it's too, 50 it's okay, 100 was too many. So now I go to size a little bigger, not too much. Okay, size random, yes I want, please. And opacity, uh, put it down at 20. Clouds are not so visible. Opacity random, 50, it's okay. Uh, so now I'm uh, I'm ready to generate my skybox output. As, uh, as I said, it's a simple example. And Z position, put it back to zero. Okay. So now I can go to the skybox creator and generate my skybox output. So, uh, you can notice by default it's a cube map that is generated. So, it's okay for me, but uh, for Element 3D, a QE rectangular should be a better, a better choice. So, it's not a problem because you have the Skybox, com skybox converter here. You can change the output cube map to a QE rectangular or sphere map if you want. So a QE rectangular will be a good choice, okay? And uh, for more efficient result, I can uh, 
pre-render it. Okay. So as you can notice also, the comp generated by the output is very high comp. Okay, 6000 by 3000, it's a big one. It's a two, uh, two by one ratio. So I come back when it will be rendered. So it's done. I exported in TIFF, so I import. And this is my TIFF sequence, okay. So now, just to be sure, okay, it seems good. Uh, now I'm gonna create a new comp. Okay, this will be my main my main comp, and uh, in 1080 29. Okay, oops, uh, okay. no HDTV. Thank you. So I create a new solid. This will be my element 3D and I add element 3D on it. Um, okay. So now this is how you have to set up your, uh, your element. First, I uh, bring my uh, export skybox output .tif in my comp and I mask it. Go to element 3D. The first step, you have to go to custom layers, okay, and add in custom texture maps your skybox output, layer one, skybox output. Okay, second step, go to scene window. In scene window, of course, if I want to see my reflection, I have to have a, an object. So I'm gonna create a sphere and just bigger okay uh, sphere and i add also a physical material so i choose chrome this one okay now i go to environment and change the base basic 2k.jpg by custom layer one skybox output okay and i can start to see my particular okay this is basically it uh, now I can of course show my background uh, in directly in element 3d go to render setting physical environments and change show in background by this way I, I will see my background and the reflection okay this is the the first way to do it's a, it's a good way okay make it more realistic uh, you can also take your uh, your skybox master here go to your project window and take skybox master i duplicate it this will be my background particle and just change the the size of this composition in full hd Okay, and by 1080, okay. And I don't want to see my Skybox Master camera. I can go to my particular and change, just change the position of the particle. Okay, if you want, this is a second way to do. Uh, go to my, my main comp and take my background particle and this is basically it. Now I can render all, the, all this and just come back when it's done. So as you can see, it works pretty well. Uh, I can see my reflection and uh, just uh, one more thing in Element 3D, you can go to the window scene, go to the material and you can add some glossiness to the material. Just add a little bit glossiness like that and okay. as you can see it makes it a little bit different and it could be what you want. So this is the process to use Skybox with Element 3D. Don't forget you can uh, show in background up the reflection map and it can help you to make it more realistic. So. This, this was the first step. 
okay, create a Skybox Master from scratch. And now I'm gonna show you how to create a Skybox from a current composition. 